Hi, hello to everybody. Um, welcome to the to the uh, Bus Challenge Digital Challenge uh, Program. Uh, this is our fourth day. We are, um, as you know, probably you, all of you know, we have been on Tuesday with Andreas uh, giving us a lecture about the uh, open source and free technologies. Then on Wednesday we we were looking at. Um, at the wiki, what is a wiki, how to use it. Uh, yesterday, we were also having this uh, hubs by Mozilla, that is a, a web uh, virtual environment, a virtual world where we can use all of uh, all of our um, uh, 3D models and be together and invite people to join us. And today we will see, uh, we will have a look to the um, software OBS. OBS is a, is a program that uh, will permit us to have like a TV channel. We can do a streaming and do, we can be recording our, our streaming. So let's have a look um, first to the uh, very short presentation for to get the um, big picture of it. So what it is uh, obvious. OBS is a free and open source software for video recording and live streaming. It is like to have a TV channel at your at your home. What can I do? I can capture my screen, I can capture one or two more cameras, or more cameras, whatever. I can visualize documents, I can uh, play multimedia files, animations, insert text uh, to see websites. So I can do many things with OBS. It's very versatile and flexible. But for example, to do what? Uh, but for example, to do a video demo, imagine that you have uh, your model is in Blender already and you have done it, but you don't want to make all the render that you need to do to make an animation, a proper animation, a proper video. Then you can just go here, capture your screen with OBS and then be recording a, recording an, a, an animation or whatever from your Blender uh, project and it will be uh, recorded in a video or you can do a TV program with different cameras uh, like to do a, a proper set or you can do a lecture a streaming uh, doing a streaming lecture where you can use with all that we have say a presentation um, audio video put yourself in the into the into the streaming so it is like a tv channel now let's go to see this is important because this is a, how this actually work so in, let's imagine that we are this uh, person that is so happy there and that is the person that is using open broadcaster software that can be the lecture itself, uh, or the or the blogger, the video blogger, or the the person who owns the this TV channel. So then you use open broadcaster software, and there you prepare your video, your output, and when your output is uh, as you like, as you want, then you stream that output to a platform to a streaming platform that can be Vimeo, can be Facebook Live, can be YouTube, can be Twitch. There are many different. And then from that one, from that platform, it goes to all your users, all your followers, all your fans. Um, this is what we are doing actually now. For example, you are all following me by YouTube, but actually I'm not using YouTube directly. I am using another program that is the one that is streaming to YouTube. Okay. So here uh, it's like why? Why do I need so many programs? But this is the this is the answer. The internet power that we need 
to, to do this. To broadcast, when we are using OBS, we are doing uh, an output, a video output, with all the elements that we want there, but we are only streaming to one place, that is the platform. These platforms, we all know, they have a lot of servers dedicated only to stream video and to play video. So they do the, uh, the force, actually, the streaming force, uh, they do it. We don't have to do it. We are only streaming one signal. So this, uh, the internet power that we need is enough uh, to the one that we have at home or at, in our offices. Okay. And now there is another thing that is very, very important to understand. Because when you are working with open broadcast, broadcaster software, or another one, or Jitsi, or whatever, or which whatever program you use here, in this case we are talking about OBS, you need to tell to OBS where are you going to streaming. If you are going to do to YouTube, or to Vimeo, or to... And how do you say that? Do you say that through a connection key? So if you don't have that connection key, even if you say a streaming, you will never stream because the program doesn't know where. So you first have to do this connection between your program and the platform. And this connection, how can I find this connection key? This connection key is given to you, give it to you by uh, the platform, by YouTube, by Twitch, by Facebook Live. Okay? So we are going today, in order to see something a little bit different too, we are going to see uh, how to do it in Twitch. Instead to be in YouTube, that is where you are right now. So let's see first um, how to go to, let's go to the OBS project. So we can, there you can download your program. So now, I am here again. Now I'm going to share another screen. Okay. This is the OBS Studio uh, web page. As you can see there, there is a, there is a, a I mean, the program is multi platform. So you can have for Windows, for Mac, or for Linux, whatever your platform is. So you download the program, and when you are installing it, it's asking you many questions. Just do it all automatically. Next, 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 next. It's coming. OK, sorry. I, I, sometimes I have to stop. It should be now the 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 OBS Studio website. Okay, I continue now. Then, then for example, uh, we were saying that we will see today. We will see how to do it in Twitch. So let's uh, let's go to the Twitch page. Okay, and then let's imagine that I mean we we have to be registered already. So go there, make your own account, and once you have your account, then uh, go to your account details here on the on the top to the right corner and there you will see channel video producer many things and then you go to your settings okay that you have here on the right when you go to your account uh, to your account to personal account settings 
Then here we go directly to the profile uh, tab. You can change your your profile here, and then we go to channel and videos. This is your channel. Okay. The first thing we see on this channel, I can put it a bit bigger, is primary string key. This is our connection key. Okay. It's very easy to find in every in YouTube. It's also very easy. So each one is a bit different, but uh, it's quite easy because they actually want you to create content. So we go directly here and copy that. And then during your installation pro process that is asking, where do you want to stream? Then you can choose Twitch. And when it's asking your key, you will copy this key on that place. Then automatically, the, the process, the installation process, will calculate some things like uh, how how much internet connection do you have, how big uh, um, your CPU, and um, some other things. And then it uh, automatically will be all installed. OK, now I am going, let's go directly to OBS. What uh, I prefer is to go to the studio mode, that then you get these two screens. In the in the left side of the screen is the preview, so everything that you are going you are doing is there. And on the right side, this screen, this black uh, screen we see here, is the output, as uh, you what you are going to be recording or what you are going to be streaming, or you can do both at once. On the left side, uh, bottom corner, uh, we have the scenes. So here is where we are going to put our scenes. For example, now uh, we are going to do quickly like uh, our our uh, our um, session. For example, title. Then we will do some presentation. Then we will have another scene that is going to be uh, goodbye. OK. OK, so we have that, we have several scenes here. Then uh, and the sources is where uh, is all the sources that I'm going to use. And this is usually uh, by scene. In my title, for example, uh, I am going to have an a image that is my uh, entrance image. When the people go go to see uh, the when they go to see the the my channel, then they will see this image. This is, will be like the first one, and this is OBS. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe it's in obvious. But, okay, here, yeah, this one. Okay, so if we make the transition, we just we we know that the people is uh, uh, is seeing this this image. Now for the presentation, for example, what uh, I want to do. But first of all, for example, I want to make a color as. Let's say, OK, white color. Second, I would like to have some more uh, my logo and whatever I want. So I go here and I get, for example, the bus logo. OK, OK. This is a, maybe a little bit too big, so I can reduce it here. I can have more logos if I want or whatever. I reduce again and put it where I think is the proper place to put it. Then I will have me in the camera. Okay, so I'm going to put video capture. I 
say video capture okay and then i have my camera there okay i'm going to put it here because i think it's better to be there then what else can i can i have i can for example keep uh, to make my presentation to keep the same image and then i can instead to create a new one i add the existing image i think it was this one okay and because it's on the top i want to change the place where it is so i can see um I can see myself so then i can make a transition just here or i can make a transition very more smoothy and smooth here okay so now we see on the right that my my camera is there and i am there so going back to the presentation for example we don't want this image anymore and now what we want is uh, our our empty space and let's uh, start if i am presenting pixel for example i will say okay i want to start showing a window capture i'm going to capture a window that i previously have have open so here in window i just decide which window i want to see okay i say this one i can see that it's not uh, taking all the space so if i go inside the with my mouse inside the the window and a right button in the mouse then i can go to transform and fit to a screen so it will be a total screen again as i put this here i lost myself because i am in a different in a layer below so i change the the order of the layers and then again i can go to transition now we see that what we are um, showing is uh, what we have in the right uh, in the right uh, screen. For example, I I want to start saying that uh, this I want to make it smaller, and I'm going to introduce another of our, our websites. For example, so I go again here to window capture, okay, and then I take another window. So what happened, uh, if we want to use different windows for the, uh, in, from a browser, then we have to separate in different, real, different windows, not one window with several tabs, because otherwise OBS will not recognize the different tabs. Again, I go here and I can say uh, fit to screen. So I can, meanwhile, I can be explaining whatever I want. So I can do the transition. So I come here and then I want to put this here now. And then I can do again the transition, for example, here. So if I want to show some image or uh, image slideshow, Okay, then I go here, uh, down, and image files, I say plus, and I can add files, or I can add a directory. On this case, we will add a, a directory, for example, all my images. And here in the pop-up, I can choose if I want them to be in loop, like for example, on this size, on this time, we are going to put it in loop and the size of the image As you can see here i can see the the full image but in my left window is not the full image so i need to put the proper uh, i need to test which one is the right one and put it there if i want this to get all the screen now it's stretching to the screen but the image are smaller so i can still make something like that okay so i will get my slideshow will be um uh, not, will be taking the full screen so now if i want this to transform some 
I need to again to fit the screen so I can move it and maybe okay so I am here I lost myself a bit okay so I can be here it's not it's not doing properly I go to slideshow go to transform and fit to a screen no I was not getting the proper one so this one fit to a screen with the color source maybe it's better to go to to the to the object here than here because then we don't see sometimes we don't see exactly what we are what we are doing so we have now like two different websites we have a, a image gallery so what else what can we have uh, we can have a text for example we can put here text like a festival concerts exhibitions select the font okay and then here we can select the color for example and maybe it's a bit too big so here we can choose okay For example, so we also can put text around our, our if we make here the uh, the transition always if you are you can do it this online or for example also uh, you can have one person that is doing this for you so you are talking in your with your camera as a lecture normally will do it and a technician can be just uh, making the changes uh, along uh, as as long as you are talking this is more the the best way to do it because if you are doing everything then you can get a little bit stuck in the middle of your of your talk for example uh, now we can use some media source media source is for everything you can have videos you can have uh, gifts animated gifts we are going to see this for example bros and then we get this this video and if we want to make it loop is we have to press there the loop okay and the video usually has some problems to start so we need to make a transition to to start with it and then if we want if we want for example this one is prepared this video is a uh, prepared to with a chroma key so if we go here to with the right button to filters then we can say chroma key okay and this video will be without chroma key then we can put it smaller for example and put it there we can also have a um, a gif animated gif for example we have here an animated gif already it's the same with the loop and it happened the same we need to make the transition to see the this is something that you have to study a little bit because uh, it probably there is a way to do it so if we want for example behind the, the text we just reorder here the the layers okay and for example now one thing is like if we want to bring to have a video okay with the video that as you can you have been you have seen also with the videos for example we have a, um, a close when inactive for example this is a good thing to show 
and restart playback when source become active. These are the two clicks that are important to click here. So till the moment that we don't say transition, the video is not shown. So this is a, a is, this is also a drag because you don't control the control of the video is not very good. So then we will go here and say transform and fit to a screen. So now we are fitting the screen. But as I say, it's not very good because it's start and you don't know when it's stopping. Or, so to do it uh, in a better way, so you know that this is starting at the right point, uh, I recommend you to create a scene that is, for example, video one. You can have many videos. And there is where you should get your media source, your video. OK, we can add it here. Is the, this one, third one. OK, so we have now this one. We put it in, we transform it to fit the screen. OK, so if we end this one, Let's get this out. OK, so let's go back. We are in the transition. You see, it's starting. If we go back to our, our second scene, then if we go back here again, it starts again. So you know that if you go uh, with the videos scene by scene, if it's not a a small uh, animation that we have seen before, then the best is to, to have an, a different scene. So you always know that you are in the at the beginning of the video. OK. About the audio mixer. Here, for example, now you see that we have the media source. That is this media that is right now running. It has a, it has a, um, a sound and my, my mic. I put it down, now I have it, it's just not to have my the echo in my headphones, but I can take it away. So sometimes you want to know if you are streaming, for example, if this is uh, actually going out or not, because you don't know. So then you will uh, click on this um, small wheel on the right, advanced audio properties, and then here you can see monitor off, then you will not hear anything in your headphones. And you don't know because you are doing the lecture, you don't know maybe if this is going out. So if you want to monitor, you can monitor only, but mute the output. Then you can see, for example, if we do the transition here again. OK, so let's make the transition. Okay. Okay. Why? Ah, uh, now it's starting. So now I can I can hear the the audio, okay? Because I am monitoring. I can hear on my. Uh, or you also can say monitor and output. OK, so this is how you, um, and here you can mix. This is your mixer to put yourself uh, lower or, or louder. OK, let's get away of this. Um. Then this scene transition, for example. We are here, uh, uh, we can do a transition like this, OK? This is a cut. Cut is a, like very short transition. Fade is fading, slide, sliding the, the two inputs. Luma, wipe, for example, swipe, OK? So, for example, here is a nice one to learn.
that is stinger, stinger. So if you go again to the wheel, that is like the property, to the properties, then uh, you can have a small uh, animation or something to make, uh, I didn't try if a GIF will work. A ver, maybe we can try. Bueno, maybe it works. A ver. But as as it is, uh, it's not the best uh, example. Let's let's try the the first one I was thinking about. That is this one. It's like very a small video that is in between scenes. This can have, for example, your logo or whatever you want or something or something that you like. And then, for example, now we see every time we do a transition between scenes, we will have that little video okay so this is an interesting thing to know too and then the last uh, thing that we are going to see is the controls here we can start streaming that we are not going to click now because start streaming actually what it does is to start streaming and we don't have we are not ready yet start recording we are not ready yet either because we need to put the setting first and um, studio mode, that is what we learned at the beginning, and the settings. We are going to see the settings now that we, we can see the pop-up, finally. And then we have the general settings. Here you can change the, uh, the language. Here you can change the, the uh, interface. I like this dark. Uh, your output, bueno, the, here these are like uh, different different uh, messages that you can get when show confirmation, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can have a look to this yourself. Um, yeah, these are general things that uh, usually I don't touch it. A stream, this is interesting. If we want to go to a stream at, in Twitch, then... We will go to Twitch, we put Twitch and uh, the string key. If we don't know the string key, but we have an account in Twitch, and probably the system will know, or we are already logged in in another window, then we just say, get the string key. And automatically, because I am logged already there, I get that string key, okay? So it's very easy. More things. Output. Here you have the output for your streaming and the output for your recording. So the output, uh, usually this is uh, recommended for 4,500 kilo, kilobytes per second. Uh, I, I didn't change anything the, from here because... Uh, the program is already very optimized to get the best uh, out of your machine. Recording, you can change here the recording path to whatever you want. If you want a hard disk or external hard disk. Recording quality, you can choose here which one you want. Recording format, I have MKB because it's, uh, um, the, it's it's better for Linux, but actually I could use MP4, that maybe is the best for you. And the encoder, I also have a hardware encoder, but you can use, for example, software, uh, by software, this encoder. That this is uh, all the um, channels and everything is taking this, okay? Then uh, about the audio, it's the same. I usually don't... don't don't touch anything from here but uh, for example the devices if you want if you have div different mic micro microphones then you can choose here which one do you want or if you want to disable if you don't want to have uh, any uh, micro any mic okay or if you have several you can put several here if you have several people for example in a 
studio doing like a debate or something. For in advance, here is the monitoring monitoring device. Before we were we were looking at uh, at the audio mixer, we can monitorize our audio. So here you can say which from which will be your monitor output. Okay, this is the only thing I have changed here. In video, we can have two different resolutions. One is the resolution of my canvas that I usually it takes the one by default, but I can also change it. And one is the output. In case we want to scale the resolution, the final output, we can just go here and change it as we like. And the frames per second that usually is 60, so I can put less or more, but I will not touch that. Uh, hotkeys is in case uh, in our workflow we want to uh, use some uh, keys to change in order that it's faster or that I don't have to worry. For example, for start streaming, I can use S. For stop streaming, I can use again S. And then it will um, change in between both. And it's very easy. We just uh, put the mouse in the... in in the field, and then we just press the key that we want to use. In this case, I'm going to delete it because I prefer the mouse, but this is what this uh, that. In the advanced option, uh, here we have uh, many options that the, usually I don't even touch it either because uh, they are by default is okay. The program has a very well optimized uh, setup for the for for the OBS, so we don't have to use it. Then uh, I, we have seen the program. I hope that you have enjoyed. And if you have any any doubt, you can send us an email to info at pixel.no. Thank you for being there.